Indeed, a very good afternoon and welcome back to the program. This is the Touchline, if you're just tuning in right now. And my name is Max Olwasik. Happening every Saturday, 1 to 3 on Y254. Sorry, Robert Maebo, co-host, is still around with us. And joining us is a very renowned man when it comes to matters rallying, former navigator, WRC press officer, and you see a journalist and a man who has defied all odds to get to do what he has done as far as matters rallying is concerned at this age. Abdul Sidi, good to see you, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you, KBC. And uh, I remember ha KBC from the olden days, Mama Juwana. <laughs> he <laughs> <laughs> used to put his mic here. Yes. And I was asking Patrick, what do I say? What do I say? Oh, Juwana the late? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, those were the commentators during yeah, those yeah, days, and yeah, yeah. you know they don't have info as far as matters <laughs> rallying is concerned. So he has to yeah. inquire from you yeah, what to ask. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, first of all, how is your Abdul City training school in Ghana? <coughs> Are you still offering services at Pro Bono? <coughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm unfortunately because of the coronavirus, uh, things have been quiet. Uh, we've been thinking about our health first. And uh, it's it's lively. Uh, I should, God willing, if everything goes well, I will, should start educating people again. And like I said, I've got over 60 students in the Kenya National Rally Championship yes. who are rallying competitively. And there are about more than 350, 400 marshals who are going to work for the WRC Safari Rally. Yes. All my students. Uh, the school, yeah. the and like I again said, I teach for free. I don't charge. Yeah. The reason being, over 25 years of my rallying, I gained lots in my life. Yeah. And I spent 1,000 shillings. Yes. And Patrick Jiru, he owes me 1,000 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> when he was in Mombasa, he calls me, he says, Abdul, can you go to AF of Kenya? Yes. Get your license renewed. License that time was... 990 shillings. Uh -huh. Now yeah. it is uh, 30,000 shillings. 30, shillings. So I renewed, and whenever I've got something like this, I remember, oh, Patrick owes me 1,000 yeah, bucks. Yeah. So imagine over 25 years, yeah. I rallied across Africa. I went all the way to Malaysia. I navigated world champion Gregor de Mavius from Saf Belgium in the safari. Yes. Eight times African champion from Zambia in Uganda rally. Patrick Jew, champion Kenya, big name. Mm -hmm. Among the many drivers I have navigated, yes. nobody taught me. Yeah. This self taught. taught. Yeah. One thing I learned in my life and uh, young guys, yeah. never drink, never smoke. You may hate me for that. Yes. But that has been my life. I have never smoked, I have never drunk in my life. Yeah. And as a navigator, you need to be like a guy looking for a wife. And yes. the wife has to be of good record. If you're known to be drinking and smoking and all this, no, 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 don't touch him. Yes. That is the language. Before we head on to talk about uh, the WRC and everything that is happening, just give us a tribute to one of the legendary safari rally drivers who passed away recently, Jayant Shah. Jayant Shah was a great, great big name. Uh, yeah. When I stepped into the sport, I found him there and it was very interesting. Uh, following him, yeah. he was a real gentleman. Yes. I never heard him speak rude, and he was always kind. Yeah. Genti was 78 years old, uh, old. He was based in Arusha, yeah. and he had a big uh, textile factory. Yes. So, unfortunately, coronavirus claimed another uh, life. Yeah. He, he had won the Kenya Kenya National Rally Championship three times. Yes. In Milan Rally. In in uh, India, India, three, three yes. times. Mm -hmm. He had done the classic rally, the safari mm -hmm. rally, and he was a real sportsman. Yeah. And I really, may God rest his soul in peace. It is the touchline here on Y254. We are hanging out with one of the legendary navigators in the country, a journalist, a man of many hearts, and now we are talking about the World Rally Championship. Your stomach must be having some rumble when you come and now you're talking about the rally. It's um, it's here, it's here. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's June. I and it's here. Is, <laughs> the nostalgia of what happened in 2000 to some of us who are still young and didn't get the full glimpse yes. of what really happened. Just give us, paint, paint for us the picture of how it was like and going forward in June this year, 
for those people who are looking forward to, you know, the epic extravaganza? Uh, safari, if you, I, to be honest, I don't want to run down what the safari has done into, to now, into yes, now, yeah. and what it was in 202. Mm -hmm. uh, those years, when you're talking about 20 years ago, the safari rally was 5,800 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Now the safari is less than 500 kilometers. Safari is three days, and that then, time safari was about six days, and used to go right across Five the days, six nights. Yeah, six uh -huh. nights. Yeah. And now we used to we used to drive, yeah. and it, it used to be fun. I I still can't imagine uh, those days. You are still yes. sitting in the car, and with all the energy you come out, speak and do yes. all that. But now, worldwide, the WRC has changed. Yes, that's become a sprint event. Uh -huh. Before it was an endurance. Yeah. How far can you go? Yes. But now, how yes. quickly can how you go? How quickly can you go? So the cars have also become very expensive. Uh -huh. The WRC Safari Rally is back, yeah. and Kenya, us, yeah. we are really looking for, forward to seeing the first cars of the world, which yes. have, at the moment, the Monte Carlo Rally is going on, uh -huh. and the quick cars in there, which haven't yeah. come to the African continent. Yes. For this, in June 24, 27, uh, 24 to 27th, mm -hmm. the Safari Rally will take place yes. in Kenya. What are some of the cars that will be coming to town for the Safari Rally? They will, they, right now, mm -hmm. if you look at the list, forget the Nissans and forget yes. the Toyotas, <laughs> the, the Skoda and all that. Yeah. And Unai, <laughs> me and Phineas Kimadi, the chairman of the Safari Rally, Yes. Uh, we drove together mm -hmm. and we were the first ever crew in the world to score points for the Unite team when we finished mm -hmm. the 18th overall. Yeah. To date, uh -huh. we are still in the history books. Yeah. Yeah? So the wow. Unite is now doing very well in the World Rally Championship. Uh -huh. Those are the cars coming to Kenya yeah. and it will be fun seeing those cars and fun to see the drivers of the, of the mm -hmm. present age, age yes. who don't care about speed, mm -hmm. who don't care about the accidents. Uh -huh. the, determined to go. The adrenaline is high. Yeah. And I must say, the team that is there at the moment, mm -hmm. led by Phineas Kimadi as the CEO of the Safari Rally yes. WRC, mm -hmm. is a event director, yeah. Jim Kambura, yes. Guvi Bamra, the clerk of the course, yeah. brilliant team. Yes. They're working. Right now, when we, we, we are thinking of nothing is happening, yes. uh, everything is so low, these yeah. guys are active. It, it is really hard work because I remember I was in the Kenya Motorsports Awards last year and when I talked <coughs> to Phineas, the president, he told me that he had traveled to over 58 countries to lobby for the WRC to come into the country. So it is really, really a big, big thing. Talk about the stages that uh, the drivers are going to pass through. I, I understand it's going to start from KICC, then to Kasarani and then to Naivasha. Tell us what is going to happen there. K KICC is the center point. KICC, Kenya International, Kenyatta International yes. Conference, Conference Center. Yes. It's world famous uh -huh. for the safari to start outside KICC is not safari. <laughs> it's not that safari. Been the tradition. <laughs> that, yes. so that is, that is uh, uh, the point where the safari rally will start from. Yes. And then it will head to Kasarani uh -huh. where there will be a spectator stage uh -huh. yes. and uh, the cars will uh, they will do a s small stage there for yeah. about two three kilometers uh -huh. and from there they'll drive to uh, Naivasha. Naivasha. Naivasha uh -huh. is the center point. Naivasha is the area where it's co going to accommodate stages over the next two days. Uh -huh. Even the service park is going to be Service there. park yeah. is around that area. Uh -huh. okay. Everything is within that point. Yes. So you've got people uh, Guvi Bamra, uh -huh. Nazir Yakub, yes. my brother Anwar Sidi, uh -huh. Choi yes. Bwangi, yes. Doris Ongalo. Uh -huh. This is a very strong team yeah. which is always seen uh -huh. going to Newasha. Yeah. And they, just last week, there were mm -hmm. two officials from FIA yes. yeah. Campbell uh -huh. and Foa. Yeah. They came here. Uh -huh. They're not, they are not as inspectors. Mm -hmm. but they are as part of the Safari Rally team. Yes. They have just come to check and to see that the things are going well. Yeah. Where can we advise you? Uh -huh. Where can you 
can what we work kind together. Of things can so you they, change? They, they went round, they've seen oh, everything is okay. Yes. Jean Todd and Phineas, yeah. they're constantly in communication. Yeah. And don't forget Amina Mohamed, the uh -huh. CS. Yes, yes. She yes. is also part of the FIA uh, Motorsport Council. Yes. Uh-huh, yes. That is a big step. Yeah. yeah. How, how, how does it feel, you see the commitment the government has uh, exhibited towards the success of WRC? Because I remember sometime last year when the uh, uh, candidate event was being flagged off, President Uhuru Kenyatta himself was, pres was present, presiding over the exercise. How does it feel you've gotten much needed support and backing from the government? That is the most important thing because yeah. uh, Jean Todd, yeah the president of the FIA, yes. to be called here and be spoken to or spoken with the, the president, president of Kenya. Yeah. It's a unique step. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the other parts of the world mm -hmm. where a president of the country comes yes. and welcomes mm -hmm. a motorsport president yes. here mm -hmm. to come. So that in itself showed yeah. Kenya has got a strong commitment. Yes. The government is involved. Yeah. Don't forget, we. There will be more than four million visitors. Yes. Tourists, hotels, all hotels in that area, they are fully booked. Even here in town, because yeah. it, it will be full. They're fully booked yeah. because this is, the teams yeah. have already booked their places. And the uh -huh. teams yes. are now, such, the late teams are searching for hotels, yeah. which unfortunately will be slightly far away from yes. the service park. Yeah. They want to be within that circle. The service park. Yeah. So, with the commitment of the government, that is, Mr. Sorry, President Uru Kenyatta, yes. who has come in with Phineas Kamadi as the CEO, yes. these two guys have really done brilliant, yeah. and they worked hard for yeah. the Kenyan people, yeah. for the Kenyan sportsmen, for the safari rally drivers, yeah. for us people as yeah. spectators, as press, and this this is what we want. This yeah. is what we want to see. Yes. And that we are just praying. We pray. Coronavirus doesn't beat doesn't us. Beat. Actually, yeah. talking about the coronavirus, mm -hmm. give us an update. We talked about the Monte Carlo, the Monte Carlo leg that is going on. Ours is, I think, the seventh leg that will be coming. Give us an update of the other legs. What, which one has been cancelled and which one is... Unfortunately, going on? it's yeah. Swedish rally mm -hmm. and the uh, rally GB, Great Britain, Great Britain yeah. have been cancelled. Uh -huh. And that's yeah. very sad. Yes. And they've been cancelled because of the coronavirus. Okay. And we are just keeping our fingers crossed yeah. that we stay mm -hmm. safe, safe and healthy uh -huh. and come towards yeah. June. June. Yes. We are all okay. Yeah. But it is very important for us. It's us to control ourselves. It's yeah. us to protect ourselves. Yes. It's us to stop this virus uh -huh. spreading. Yeah. And you know, among the reasons that delayed Kenya's readmission to FIA World Rally calendar, is the safety concern which was raised. I don't know, ahead of the events, which mechanisms have been put in place to ensure that, you know, even the spectators are safe, because it will be a more thwarting event that you can't deny Kenya an access to watch what will be happening. I don't know, are there are some stringent uh, measures that have been deployed? The head of the safety group, yes. Doris Ogalo, mm -hmm. is my student. Yeah. And he's the chief safety officer for the Safari Rally. Yeah. And like I said, I've got over 400 marshals. Ah. Uh -huh. Over 400 marshals. Wow, that's landmark. Now, 400 marshals, before, rally stages were very long. I remember mm. could start from uh, Suswa ending to Lele there, uh -huh. 200 kilometers. Yeah. 220 kilometers, kilometers. competitive. You're just mm. reading the notes, you're reading the notes and that's it. Go in. Yeah, but yeah. now yeah. the longest stage mm -hmm. FIA allows is 60 kilometers. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. You can't have anything longer than that. Mm -hmm. But in Nevasha, 35, 40 kilometers is the longest. Yes. And then you've got the shortest. Yeah. So if you spread 500 people along mm -hmm. those stages, it's like every kilometer there's a marshal. Yes. And then you're educated. Even my rally academy, we, we preach safety. Mm -hmm. Yes. That please, even do not stand outside the corner. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine the outside of a corner is this one here. Yes. The cars are coming fast this way, uh -huh. and if the, chance, if the chances of rolling are mm. going to be, it will be there going outside there. Uh -huh. So yes. please stand here, yeah. inside the corner. Mm -hmm. So if the car rolls, it rolls on the place yes. where 
Mm. There are no, no spectators. Yeah. Always stand on the outside of the corner, mm -hmm. and that is for your own safety also. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about that, uh, uh, it has been bugging me in my head. I forgot to ask it when we were talking about the stages. It has got to be the terrain. Because you look at the African terrain, you cannot compare to the Monte Carlo terrain, you cannot compare to the Argentinian terrain. What are the drivers saying when they are coming to Africa, going to the safari, and that terrain is not what they are used to? Uh, before, yeah. safari rally was held in April. Yes. During Even the a rain. small kid at <laughs> home, yeah. Easter was safari rally, Easter was holiday, yes. Easter was rain. Rain. Mm. So unless it's wet, you yes. don't. It's not <laughs> it's safari. Not safari. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now yeah. it's the same uh, impression they get the foreign drivers. They're yes. coming to a country where mm -hmm. it could be wet. Yeah. But June, July is not mm -hmm. a rainy month, also. Yeah. But the, the stages there mm -hmm. are uh, they lose. Yes. They lose. Mm -hmm. They're not snow like Monte Carlo, which is going on. Yeah. But they're slippery. They can be. They and they're fast. Yeah. So everything has been graded and has been done, okay. all set. Yes. So uh, atmosphere is totally dif different. Uh -huh. It's in Africa. Yes. And that is where it is going to be tricky. Yeah. Now, an another one we are going to talk about is the commercialization of the sport, because which is a big one. And one of the people we realize that has to be in town every time the president of FIA in Todd is in town every time Phineas, every time we're having a press conference and all that, is the World Rally promoter. And advertisement and commercial is key. How key is it for the Safari Rally? It's very important because uh, that's where the money comes in, advertising. Yes. And let me tell you, with a rally car, yeah. and uh, again, my education, that uh, if you're looking for a sponsor, yes. then uh, a sponsor wants to give you 10,000 shillings. So, so put that sticker on top of the roof. <laughs> you get yes. The yes. Yeah. Who is going to see it? Who is there? going to see yeah. it? It's only the helicopter. <laughs> helicopter. Yeah. But the most important corners of the car, yes. sorry, of the car are the corners. Uh -huh. The front wing, yes. the, rear wing. the rear wing. So when the car is coming sideways, the photographer is there, you will get uh -huh. the advertising there. Yes. Or the windscreen. Uh -huh. So your bargaining power. Yeah. is based on the windscreen okay. advertising uh -huh. or the corners of the car. Yes. It can be 100,000, 200,000, yeah. 300,000, whatever yeah. thousand. Yeah. And that, with that, you guarantee yeah. that the newspapers are going to use your... Your pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Be nice to people like <laughs> us. <laughs> and yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. there are a lot of money is being used and has been already pumped into the organization of this particular event. How huge is it in terms of generating revenue and income because I know sports tourism will also be a factor, a catalyst of a uh, World Rally Championship the coming into the country. Just like you indicated earlier, hotels are already booked, even businessmen are warming up to the event, considering they know probably something will come their way. How huge is it for business and even for income generation? It's big. It's massive. It's massive. Because uh, the country itself benefits. Yeah. Uh, the president is looking not at the rally driver, yes. but it is looking at the vast area. Yeah. His country is being exposed. The bigger picture. Yeah, yes. bigger picture. Country is being exposed to the world. Yes. The tourists are coming to admire. Yeah. They are coming to spend the money. Yeah. The government is spend, putting in nearly 500 million shillings. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that in itself is huge thing. Yeah. Then. The teams are coming here, they're booking hotels, they're paying for that, the driver's expenses and yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. It's all... There's in direct income and yeah, direct yeah. income coming in. So mm -hmm. it's very important that the government is committed. Mm -hmm. It's important, it's for Kenya, it's not for me, for you, yeah. it's for Kenya. Yeah. We want to promote Kenya, we want to promote Kenya through the sports facility, mm -hmm. and we are there. Phineas? I think, I think I think I think that's enough response to you know <laughs> our friends from other sporting disciplines who've been complaining that you know the government rarely pumps resources into them. I think it's about value for your man. Also, Robert, you've seen how magical open whenever it happens. Yes. Even Amina or Uru Kenyatta themselves show up at the venue on Sunday. It's because of what they are looking for. And it's reciprocative. So this time round. It looks like it's always a business of butter. <laughs> Government and the, these federations. 
Yeah, it's uh, the communication has to be good. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, fortunately enough, uh, the government has all, always been uh, at the center of the safari. President yes. Jomo Kenyatta, uh, Boy, or on the ramp, they've been there. Yes. Why are they there? Because they are helping promoting the country, the sport, and all that. How did the late GT performed in two or two? Very good, very good. We, mm. we, we rallied in same teams and all that. Yeah. A very good person, very good driver. Yeah. You wouldn't say he's the son of a uh, president. president. No, yeah. he never behaved. Yeah. And uh, he, he was a Toyota Celica driver and he performed uh, his, yeah, tremendous. his, yeah, tremendously well. Yeah. Commendable results. Yeah. Him and uh, Ibrahim Choge, the late Ibrahim Choge. Oh, yes. So they, they formed very nice. Uh, partnership. Yeah. Mm. Uh, another one I, mm. I have to ask is the WRC drivers are teams I think 18. Mm. There the are 18 drivers who are coming in. We have also got an African leg that is going to be running concurrently with the safari. What, how is that going to work? Okay, we've got the, this is the World Rally Championship. Yes. And then we've got the African Rally Championship. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Kenya mm. is, is part of the African, African Rally, Rally Championship. championship yeah. There are six countries in the African mm. Uh, continent yes. which are going to be uh, hosting events. Yeah. Rwanda is the first event, uh -huh. Kenya will be in April. Yes. So Kenya, the rally is known as Equator Rally. Uh -huh. yes. yeah. uh -huh. So it's, uh, what they're going to do, they're going to use the safari rally route, uh -huh. safari rally timing and everything, yes. it will be uh, like a testing ground uh -huh. for the safari rally. Okay. So the Equator Rally yeah. is in July, sorry, April. in April. Yeah. Drivers from the African continent will come here, uh -huh. take part, yes. and this will also give chance to the organizers to see where they've gone wrong or where they are. So that uh, will yeah. be like a grand rehearsal yeah. for the main event? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. And is it all systems go? How ready are we in the event that now we are supposed to uh, host this event even tomorrow? Are we ready? I can, I, let me tell you personally. <laughs> you can authoritatively state we are ready. We are ready. Because I've personally seen my, my younger brother, Anwar Sidi, yes. he's part of the team. And whenever he asks, where is he? He's in Nevasha. Where is he? He's in Nevasha. Okay. And I get the updates also because of my rallying news and all that. Okay. And uh, they have really worked. Yes. They have really worked. Yeah. And they are, they, they are also looking forward to the event, uh, be it tomorrow or be it in, yeah. in June. But uh, yeah, they worked with the FIA, yes. the Ke uh, Kenyan government. Yeah. The officials here, and it's a big team. Yes, so you have heard it here actually. The Safari Rally, it's all systems go. Come June 23rd to 27th, it is going to be happening here in Kenya, Nairobi, and Naivasha. The end is at Hell's Gate. Yeah, the end is on the other side. It's all going to be on the Naivasha side by the outskirts of Naivasha, yeah. and that's the center point. If you, so have never, if you have never been to that place, <laughs> start thinking. No. <laughs> That's a good question. Have you booked yourself a hotel? No, for me, I've been for me, for me, I've been there. My accredit, my accreditation. Now, as now, as as. The teams, mm. first of all, you need to register with the WRC. Yes. And Peter Jenga is there. For press accreditation, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, yeah. then they should be able to look at uh, where yeah. people are going to sleep and all that. Yes. But it's not going to be easy. Yeah. It, but that's safari. That is safari yeah, for you. That's how it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, safari rally has been in my blood. Yeah. And I'm still. Uh, pumping what word it out. of inspiration as we finish? Yes. And you are parting shot. Uh, Safari Rally is a unique event which has given me a lifetime history. Yes. I've seen the world. I've, I've got lots of people who, who follow me. I've yeah. got my academy as a result of the Safari Rally, a yes. city rally academy. Okay. And listen, the academy itself is not a big thing, it's me. Yes. My secretary, my telephonist, is my, in my brain. Yes. I just have to walk in there and I lecture. And that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm really proud and I thank God that I've been given this opportunity where I'm now able to express it to the nearest person, a spectator, a friend who wants to be a rally driver. Yes. For me, there was nobody. I did it myself yeah. and I thank God for that. 
So now you've got the, you're a step step ahead. You've got me. Use me. Yes. Like I said, I've got students in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, and I'm proud. Yeah. Tuta Mionki, the uh -huh. motorsports yes. personality of, of the, the year. year. Yes. My student. Yeah. I can say that with pride. Yes. She was nobody. She didn't know. Helen Shiri, she is the FIA women representative in the World Motorsport Council. Wow. The only. The only the African only lady yes. from Kenya. Mm -hmm. She's my student. Yeah. She's a secretary at the Safari Rally. Yeah. So ladies are there. They really, they come up. Yes. So please. Riyadh is mine also. Yeah. Riyadh is mine. Riyadh is mine. Yeah. 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 Riyadh is mine. Yeah. is a good navigator. Uh -huh. Shamir Yusuf. Oh, yes. Eric Bengi. Uh -huh. uh, Joe Mushiri. There are mm. lots and lots of people yeah. that, who have come out of the Asra group. Yeah. And, uh, Joe Mushiri, the broadcaster? No. Oh. All right, amazing work done by yourself. Congratulations for a well done job and keep you know doing what you doing to ensure that you empower the young people, especially those who are passionate about rallying. Of course, we've been talking to Abdul Sidi, former renowned navigator. He's been actively involved in matters while rally championship ahead of the big event. Four to five months from now, as we speak, of course, the last time it happened was in 2002. You we were still budding and you we were just coming up, and we were getting the news updates from our parents. But, of course, glad to be here one more time to watch it this time round as it happens. Of course, we will be kicking off from Kaisi up to Kasarani, then Naivasha, and the ultimate end will be at the Hell's Gate. What an event we're looking forward to. We've seen how President himself has been committed towards ensuring that it's a success. Amina Mohammed, the CES, and even Kenya Motorsport Federation President, our good friend, Phineas Kimati, working day and night to ensure that it's all successful when, you know, foreign best rally drivers come in Kenya to participate alongside the home base. Like, just like Baldev Chaga said one day, it will be a game changer for Kenya Safari. Because this is the touchline, and thank you, Abdul Sidi, for coming through. It's been an honor having you on board, and we look forward, you know, seeing you coming through uh, on frequent basis so that you enlighten us. Only... And I know Soro Robert will disturb you during the main event. Just Abdul, on... what should I ask? Actually, me, I will be getting notes prior before I go on air, yes. so that you just tell me what I ask, because you have more information than what we ask guys know. For, 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 for a navigator, quick one, for yes. a navigator, it's not a map. Yes. It's page notes. Every 20, 30, 40, 50 meters, there is an instruction. Yeah. Turn medium right, slow left, brow, ditch, bridge, everything is there. So every 50, 100 meters, and you're doing 200 kph, my friend. You're singing, the driver is dancing to your music. And if you're late, yeah. you'll be calling your mother in that car. <laughs> <laughs> what a punchline and what a way to finish off this particular interview. And of course, that has been Abdul Sidi. Thank you for tuning in. We're still on until 3 o'clock. Don't go. Stay tuned. It's the touchline on Y254. Continue talking to us. Hashtag touchline Y254. Let's take a short commercial break. We will be back with Matas Kodbiro. An oldest football tournament happening in town Sunday. Tomorrow is when finals will be taking place. And of course, we shall be previewing all that and more.